also have to learn to adapt. Another mm-hmm. thing that my Matthew did, again, he was the youngest of the kids. Um, he probably didn't really talk till he was about four. Hmm. He could. He just chose not to. Thank right. you. It was just, mm-hmm. and people kept saying, you know, the other kids are talking for him. And I would listen because, again, I wanted to check and make sure. And I'd listen and no, they weren't talking for him. He just mm-hmm. had nothing to say. Right. And so we started to learn sign language just to give him an avenue. And we mm-hmm. still, we, we didn't learn a lot, but we learned, oh, I don't know, probably about a hundred words, enough that mm-hmm. I could tell him to put on your, you know, to put on your shoes. You know, right. I would tell him certain things and, you know, we would communicate. And then he realized that, oh, oh communication. I totally mm-hmm. get this. And then uh. he worked out with paragraphs. So <laughs> he, could speak, he just chose not to. But again, right. we adapted to fit his needs mm-hmm. so that he could become that he could continue to grow instead right. of just saying, all right, kids, no one's going to talk for Matthew. Mm-hmm. We found a way around it so we could find that key, unlock it, and then right. go forth. Yeah. And he had to see the purpose in it, like you yes, said. Exactly. And right. and once he realized that, oh, I have a voice and I can command things or you know do right. things, and it's like, oh, this is useful. Mm-hmm.